up everyone welcome back to my channel budget with Leia and I'm Leia today we're gonna do a budget with me for my extra income of December so I'll kind of walk you through uh, the different incomes that I got and then how I'm gonna reallocate it into my sinking funds and cash envelopes and savings challenges so let's get started right here so the first thing that I'm doing is taking the money that I have in my debt envelope which is right here so this normally lives in my pink binder over here but I'm gonna take it out and reallocate that so that's $92 the next thing I'm doing is I'm going to be stopping the 100 envelope challenge because I want to start new challenges next year right, which is right here and I counted it and it's $2,298 that I have saved up so far next thing is my coins most of my expenses um, I pay with my credit card and not cash so I rarely get coins um, the next thing that's on my list is from my work which is a PTO cash out my work offers PTO cash out which is uh, in exchange for PTO you have not used they'll um, give you money for it uh, due to my work changing some benefits around and things like that um, I decided to cash out whatever PTO I had left, which gave me $721.80 for my PTO cash out. And the last thing is my end of year bonus for my work. Um, and that ended up being $2,994.49. The first thing I want to do with, um, with the amount, which actually ended up being $6,000. $122.29. The thing that I wanted to do with this extra income for the summer was put some of it towards my car debt. Currently, I only have one debt and that is my car. I don't have any other debt and I'll be doing a debt video uh, sometime this week so you'll see a little bit of um, what I mean and kind of a little bit of my journey for the past year or two up, to, up until now. My goal when I first started this budgeting journey, even before I started filming, uh, at the beginning I told myself I want to be able to save $2,000 or at least my goal was $2,000 to put as an extra payment towards my car. From this amount, I saved up a good amount of extra income and that's not including anything else in my sinking funds, this is just extra income. Because originally my 100 envelope challenge uh, was going to be going to my car so whatever I saved up in my 100 envelope challenge I was going to take 2,000 of that and put it to, towards my car and the extra if it's 100 200 I would allocate it into some other sinking fund that was my goal there's a lot more income here so what I decided to do was put $2,500 towards my car debt which is 40.83% of this entire extra income that I have. So I paid that, today is Monday, the 20th, um, but I actually paid that on the 17th, which was a Friday, and hopefully that'll clear um, today or tomorrow, just because it was over the weekend. So, so left to budget, or uh, amount that I can actually stuff, is $3,622.29. Obviously the 29 cents is not going to be stopped. It's just, it's just going to be left in my uh, bank account. But yeah, so $3,622 that I'm actually going to be stuffing for this paycheck. I have my 92 from my debt envelope. I have my amount from my 100 envelope challenge. And then the rest that I need to equal $3,622 I took from the bank, which is right here. So this is the money that I need to cash stuff and budget. And well, this is the money that I have left that I can actually cash stuff into my binders right here. It's a lot of money, yes. I will be doing a bill exchange, so most of this money is gonna go back into my account anyway, but I wanted to show you what I'm doing, um, what income I got, and where it's gonna go. So this is an envelope breakdown. So I have my cash envelopes, so my sinking funds, and then two of my uh, my emergency savings, and then my savings challenge, my YouTube comment savings challenge. 
So what I'm going to do is kind of just walk you through where I'm actually putting all this money. I already have my cheat sheet on the side so I don't forget what it was. So the first thing we're going to walk through our sinking funds or kind of go backwards, I guess. We're going to start with our emergency savings. So for my emergency savings, I'm actually going to be putting $400 into that. Automatically, that's what I wanted to do. Originally, I was going to do 200 but I was like, no, no, no. Focus on this. This is a big priority. And then let's go down from here. So my nephew... So these two right here, both of them are my nephew, Mateo and Isaac. Okay. So they're both going to be getting uh, amounts. They're going to be getting different amounts. So 100 for Mateo and 200 for Isaac. Um, the, only, the main reason is because Mat I started Mateo's envelope um, way earlier, so he has more. So I'm trying to kind of have them be around the same amounts. Car is going to be getting $200. I don't need anything in my car, but as everyone knows, car maintenance fees are are crazy sometimes. You're going for an uh, oil change and you come out, you know, paying $700 for something else. Uh, Christmas, so for Christmas, I'm going to be doing $250. So for Christmas, I only have one more gift to do, and it's an electronic gift card, so that's I'm not worried about that. Most of the money that I currently have in my envelope, and then this amount is going to go already for next year. Um, I thought it wouldn't hurt to uh, save up earlier, also because I'm going to be bumping up my my goal for next year. So pets is going to be getting three hundred dollars. So whatever is currently in my envelope for, plus the three hundred dollars, most of it is going to be gone because I did have pretty high vet bills this past week. And I'll talk about that more when I do my unstuffing video for for this week. I'll explain kind of what happened. But for now, we'll just we'll say that. So family is going to be getting $200. Occasions is, is going to be getting $100. And then Halloween is going to be getting $100. If you're new here, Halloween is for next year. Obviously, this year already passed. I'm hoping to plan for a Halloween party, a decently sized Halloween party for next year if everything kind of turns out well. So I'm hoping to save up some money for that. Um, I'm not really sure how much I need to save up for just because I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing just ex you know exactly yet. Mostly the closer we get I'll probably make more of a Halloween party budget for that. Uh, savings, medical, and house. So all three of these are going to get $300. So savings is just personal savings. Medical is for any medical bills that may come up. I currently don't have any, but medical bills are can get pretty expensive very quickly. So I want to make sure I have money for that. And house is for future house. So whenever I do decide to buy a house, I want to have money saved up for that for a down payment. And I'm going to slowly build up for that. So tech is going to be getting $100. Vacation is going to be getting $100 as well. I should have enough for my passport and then extra money for now I'm going to be saving for like tickets and hotels and things like that. Um, but I should have enough for my passport, which I need to be getting in the next month or so. Just because I know it takes quite a bit for the passport to come back. Especially with all the delays in, in the post office and things like that. And then lastly, concerts. So concerts is fairly low priority so it's getting sixty dollars i wanted to fund it just because it's something i do want to do eventually um but i'm not sure when so i wanted to give it something so next is going to be youtube disney nails video games and black friday so but all these five categories right here are kind of on the low priority scale compared to some of my other ones um youtube is for youtube giveaways i would like to be doing a youtube giveaway for 100 subs in the meantime, I'll save up more money for that, and maybe I'll have more than one winner. Um, so YouTube is going to be getting $20. Disney is for a future Disney trip. And by future Disney trip, I mean three to four years from now. 
because um, we're going to be taking my nephew, who is currently a year old. We're hoping to save up some money in the next few years to take him when he's a little bit older. Uh, nails is going to be getting $20. So I love doing my own nails. And these are my real nails. If anyone's wondering, these are my real nails. They're not press-ons. They're not acrylics or anything. These are my real nails. And I love doing nail art on, you know, this, it's my little me time. So I want to fund being able to buy uh, nail polish or any accessories that I need for to do that. Video games is going to be getting $20. I love playing video games, but it's not my main priority just because... I have way too many video games that I need to play, uh, but I decided to fund some of this stuff. And then Black Friday is $20 as well. I didn't budget for Black Friday for this past year and I should have. Uh, there's so many things I wanted to buy that were on sale, uh, but I just didn't, I didn't put it into my budget. So most of my money, most of that came out of my spending money and I didn't, and I gave myself spending money, but there was still more stuff that I wanted. All right, so that's for these. So let's total up these amounts and see where we're at. So I know this is $100 right here. And right here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14, 50. And then next over here we have 9, 10, 11. So that's 1160 and then we have the 400 right, so these are the amounts so far so my cash envelopes is my the envelopes that I keep in my wallet so for weekly expenses for this currently I'm gonna put it into my rollover binder so I'm gonna have Pretty much what I'm doing is giving myself an extra buffer into my rollover binder in case I want to buy uh, anything else for myself or eating out and things like that. I'm currently going to be driving a bit more due to the holidays. I'm also going to be driving more because there's uh, my wedding, my friend's wedding, not my wedding, my friend's wedding. And because of all the driving, I'm assuming we're going to be eating out a little bit more. So I want to give myself an extra money for that kind of stuff. So for groceries, I'm actually giving myself $100. I'm probably not going to use that much uh, just because again my boyfriend buys all the groceries but I wanted to give some money in here because I didn't give myself money for groceries. If you saw that video I only gave myself $25 um, and I might need to buy some stuff for uh, uh, when I go over to my mom's for Christmas so I want to make sure I have some money there. So gas is going to be getting $80 so just extra gas money. Again, I don't drive that much. I'll be driving more uh, this last two weeks of the year, but normally I don't drive that much. So 80 should be enough for a while. Um, eating out is going to be getting $60. And then miscellaneous is $40. So miscellaneous is just anything extra, extra that I may need that might come up, who knows. I have some money already in my rollover binder, but I'm just giving myself a little bit extra just because it is the holidays. Things might come up unexpectedly. Um, lastly is spending. So I currently have, let's actually total this up. Just to see where we're at. So that's 1450 plus 1160 plus 100 plus 400 plus 100 plus 80 plus 100. So we're currently at $3,390. And we need to... How much do we need? Let me write this down. We need to budget 3,622. So, so 232. So originally I was gonna put that amount into my spending, but I wanted to make sure I had money. I put something into my YouTube common savings challenge because it's something I wanna do. I want to see how much I can save, you know, etc. So let me get that up. So here we go. I kind of just redid how I wrote it. So the first number is how many comments I have for that video. And the second number is how much I'm actually going to be stuffing 
uh, for that video for that specific video. So I already did the first two. So I put out a video on the 16th and then I put a video out on the 17th. One of them got 18 comments, the other one got 23. So I'm stuffing nine for this one and 12 for that one, which is a total of $21. So I'm gonna write that here, $21. So now we have 232. Well, it's at 21. So now we have $211 left to stuff, and that's what I'm going to be putting into my spending. Um, and now it's a, probably a lot of money into my spending, but I feel like I've been doing pretty well with spending. I feel like I have been compared to you guys didn't see how I used to spend beforehand. Um, I think I spent $400 in just spending in like three weeks. One time I just took all the money and just spent it on stuff that I don't even remember what it was. Um, so I think that's, it's like a little treat with all the money, with all the money I've saved for my extra car debt. I think that's a good amount. And I'm probably not, not going to use it, all of it, obviously in one, one day or a week, but I want to have that just in case I need to do, to buy anything. So so that's the budget for now, and now we can actually cash stuff. So let's get the money out and start counting it. All right, here is the money all taken out. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're gonna count it. Hopefully, I don't need the calculator, but we'll see. hoping I wouldn't mess up. I th thought I messed up somewhere along the line. All right, so now we're actually going to be moving on to our stuffing. So let's have a look here. So let's start off with our rollover binder here. All right, so we're going to start off with gas. Gas is going to be getting $80. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, four fives. And let's do, actually move this around here. I think it'd be better put it over here. Okay, let's see. 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So eighty dollars is going to go into my gas envelope here. Again, I already have money in here. Too much we have now. Okay, gas has 20, 40, 60, 81, 110, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. So 175 into gas. Right, spending is going to be getting a total of $211. So that's going to be 250s. Four. 
four twenties, two tens, and then two tens, and then one five, six ones. All right, so let's double check I did that right. So 50, 100, 120, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 205, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, yep, 211. Okay, in spending, I have 100, 150, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 220, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, so 260, 260, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 270. 271, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 292. So 292 in spending. That's getting pretty thick. Okay. Right. Next up is eating out. Eating out has four currently, and we're going to give it 60, I believe. Yep, two, 60. So two. 20s, 110, 15, and then 5 ones. 2, 3, 4, and then 5s. Let's just make sure I got that right. So 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. Alright, so $60. So now in Eating out, we should have 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 2, 3, and 4. So $64 in eating out. Alright, miscellaneous is going to be getting $40. So that's going to be a 20, 3 fives, so 1, 2, 3, and then 5 ones. So 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So miscellaneous should have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. So $60 and miscellaneous. All right, groceries is going to be getting 100. And that's just gonna be 250s. So groceries now has 700, 800, 900, 920, 40, 60, 80, 1000, 1000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,100, 1,120, 25, 30, 31, 32. 1,132. Okay, so now we're done with this. We can move on to our next binder. All right, first up is Mateo, and he is going to be getting $100. Okay. So that has 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 300, 310, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So 385 in his envelope. So next is Isaac. So Isaac is going to be getting $200. So I did that in 100 and 250s. So now he has 100, 150, 200, 220, 40, 45, 50. So 250 in Isaac's envelope. Okay, car maintenance. It's going to be getting $200 as well. So that's 100 and 250s. 100, 150, 
200, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300, 305, 210. 310. Christmas. Christmas is going to be getting a total of 250. That's two hundreds and fifty. So now Christmas has one hundred, two hundred, two fifty, two seventy, two ninety, three ten, three thirty, three fifty, three seventy, three ninety, four hundred, four hundred and five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty, thirty five, forty, forty five, fifty, fifty one, two, three, four, and five. Pets. Pets is going to be getting a total of three hundred dollars. And what did I do that in? So I did a hundred, two fifties, and then five twenties. Four and five. Pets has one hundred, two hundred, two fifty, three hundred. 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 700, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so 800, 800, 1 and 2, 802 dollars in pets. Family is going to be getting 200 dollars. That's going to be 250s and then 5 20s. Family has 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400, 400, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So four hundred and fourteen dollars in family. Okay, occasions is going to be getting one hundred dollars. Okay, and that's going to be four twenties. So four twenties, three fives, and then five ones. One, two, three, four, and five. And these are lower denominations just because occasions usually it's gifts or decorations that I may need to buy. I don't need that much for that. I don't need high bills for that. So occasions has 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 205, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So $229 in occasions. All right, Halloween is next. And Halloween is going to be getting $100. Halloween is going to be getting 100 Halloween is going to be getting 100 dollars and that's going to be, I did that in four twenties. One, two, three, four. So four twenties and then four fives. So one, two, three, one more, five. All right, so Halloween has 20, 40, 60, 80, one. So one, oh, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So 155, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 170, 71, 72. So 172 dollars in Halloween. All right, we're done with this binder. Next is this 
pink binder. So savings is going to be getting $300. That's going to be three ones, or three one hundreds, not three ones. So three hundred. So savings now has one, two, three hundred. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, four hundred. Twenty, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, five hundred. So five hundred in my savings. Right, medical also going to be getting three hundred dollars one two three and they should have the same as my savings so one two three three hundred twenty forty sixty eighty four hundred twenty forty forty five fifty fifty five sixty sixty five seventy seventy five eighty eighty five ninety ninety five ninety six ninety seven 98, 99, 500. So 500 in medical. And this does not include my HSA account. I do have an HSA account, but I want to just have extra. Medical bills are no joke. So, all right, house. House is going to be getting 300 as well. 300. So 1, 2, 3, 320, 40, 60, 81. So 400, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 500. So all these three envelopes have 500. Okay, tech is going to be getting 100. So that's going to be two fifties. So tech has one thousand, two thousand, two thousand five hundred in a bank. So fifty, six hundred, twenty, forty, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, seven hundred. So two thousand seven hundred. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31. So $2,731. Okay, a vacation is going to be getting 100. That's 250s as well. Vacation has 50, 100, 20, 40, 20, 30. 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 205, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 235. That's definitely enough for a passport. So, I just need to do it. I keep putting it off. Okay, concerts. Concerts is going to be getting $60. That's a 50 and a 10. So concerts has 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. 100 for concerts. Okay. Right, we're done with this one. Move on to our next one. All right, so this is a fairly new binder. So all these categories don't have that much in it. Right, so YouTube is going to be getting twenty dollars. So that's going to be eight twenty. So now it has twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. Should be correct. Fifty, yes. All right, Disney is also going to be getting twenty dollars. Now it has twenty-five. Nail polish, also getting 20. 25 as well. Okay, video games is gonna get 20 as well. Oh, actually, no, I did that all in fives. Never mind. 
video game's gonna get 20, but I did it all in five, so five, 10, 15, 20. Video games now has five, 10, 15, 20, 25 as well. Okay, Black Friday is getting 20. So now it has 25. All right, so we're done with this binder. Now we're on to our challenges. So our five dollar challenge challenge is not going to get anything, and then our emergency savings is going to be getting something this time. I have our tracker right there. It's going to be getting four hundred dollars. So one, two, three, four. So emergency savings has 1,000 in the bank. It's one, two, three, four. So 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 600. 1,600 in total. Mark that off in a second. So 1,600, which is all the way up here. Oh my goodness. Mark off so many. Wow. Okay, there we go. 1,600 for emergency. All right, and then our last one is our YouTube comment savings challenge. So I got a total of 18 comments on the video for the 16th and then 23 on the video for the 17th. So that's 9 and 12, which is 21, which should be what's left in here. Should be. Hopefully I did everything correct. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. All right, 21 so far. So now in my YouTube savings, Comment YouTube comment savings challenge. I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 37 dollars already. That's four different, that's just four videos. That's so many more to go. All right, that's it. That's my entire, um, extra income for this for this month of December. I'll put it right here. Oh my goodness, that was so much money. Oh, I'm glad it all worked out. I'm glad I did that payment to my debt. Oh my goodness. It's a lot of money. I was dreading doing a budget with me and dreading doing showing everything just because I wasn't sure how I want to break it up. But I'm, I'm happy where I broke everything up. I'm happy that I put 400 to my emergency savings and a good amount of money into medical and then pets and then obviously in my debt payment. And then I'll be doing a debt update video or my first debt video um, showing you where I started to where I currently am now. Um, just to kind of see where kind of my journey uh, before I started budgeting and then uh, when I started budgeting so you can see that difference and that should be coming up soon in the next few days or so So I'll keep it a lookout for that um, But yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching uh, Please leave a like comment down below, especially if you want to see me say save more money here um, And subscribe if you do like the content that I'm creating. Thank you so much. And then I'll see you next time. Bye